Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brian Red. I'm Juan Mauricio. And I'm John Young. Today we're gonna look at these new Yamaha DX series powered speakers. Happen to have them here for the Dushek News Conclave, so we're gonna give them a test drive. So what we have here is the DX R8 top cap. This is an eight inch speaker and a tweet. What are we looking at? 1100 watts on this little speaker and 129 decibels is what it's bragging. Let's check out the back. You have a main mic line input on the top, but you actually end up with three inputs. You get two quarter inch left and right inputs. You also get a RCA inline. So this would be handy for like a wedding. See down here is the RCA line. And then you also have the link, the link out. So if you want to run maybe two per side, you can just link right out of these speakers. We've also got a little bit of DSP on this speaker. We've got front or main. We can run it off just regular, I guess, straight up speaker with no digital signal processing, or we can use it as a monitor. We also have a high pass filter of 120 hertz, 100 hertz, or we can just turn that off and run at full range. One of the cool features of this top cab is that it can be down fired if you look at that angle. We can take this off and then we can set it. If you take a look at that, we have two spots for the pole. And we can be firing out at a level, at a level field for those people who need it down fired or you can have it that way. You can do both of these. And it's about 30 pounds, so if you need to pick it up and hike it up like really high like this, not that difficult at all. Something else worth mentioning on that downfire concept, the way you would use that is if you were running in a room that was like maybe concrete or had a really heavy echo from the wall in front of you, what you can actually do is fire it down at your crowd so that tweet isn't bouncing off of anything. Helps you out with echo in some rooms. We're taking a look at the sub right here. This is the DX. S12 sub. It's 12 inch active subwoofer. You can see that this thing can do 950 watts, what it's rated at 131 dB, which is a, a lot of volume for a lot, of, a lot of speaker right here. It is a bandpass box, which means, of course, you're going to have a little bit different sound than a front firing box where it's front loaded. This unit is about 73 pounds, give or take, which is easily movable for most DJs. On the back, we have dual inputs and dual outputs. Now, that's really cool for those of you who want to run one sub and two top cabs. Left and right into one sub, left and right out to multiple top cabs. And then we have a volume right there. Now it's a little different than your traditional volume on a speaker. It's less of a gain and more of like a line level like you'd have on your mixing board. Notice the zero dBs at 12 o'clock. We've got minus zero way down there where it would be, I guess, zero on a regular line fader and plus 10. So right in the middle is going to give you a nice zero dB. And then we have here our DSP feature. That's digital signal processing. We have the boost for the speaker. We can turn that off and there's some kind of extended feature. There's also a low pass filter down here. Notice it goes from 120 hertz, 100 hertz, and 80 hertz, depending on where you want to run your sub. All right, now let's do a sound test. Juan, go ahead and turn some tunes on, see what we got. thoughts? I was really impressed with the system. I was really, really impressed with the full sound that we were getting from these two little cabinets. Yeah. I mean, this isn't very big, but boy, it filled this room, and this isn't exactly the hugest room by any means. No, it's about half of a small banquet hall. Yeah, probably, yeah exactly. It? I mean, I've had dance floors in rooms this size, but most of the time it's about twice this size. But the room, and we weren't even pushing the system very hard at all. So no, no, it's pretty low. A, definitely a sweet sound. What very, very for? crisp highs. And some very nice lows, too, for some of those that want to get that little bang, bang sound. Right. Now, what I liked was the mids weren't harsh, and that's my big thing. When I hear, har when I hear harsh mids, my ears hurt. I don't like it. And if my ears hurt, I know my client's ears hurt. This is pretty smooth. A friend of mine was telling me about these earlier in the week, and I was like, I don't know. But after hearing them, yeah, I do like them. They're nice, especially the top cab. So I think it's definitely a winner for Yamaha. There you've got the size. You can run this as a standalone if you need to. Put it together, you can run two tops with the sub. I think it's a really, really good combination. I definitely like that idea with the two the two tops with one sub. It's, de it's pretty much how I usually run my... Yeah, it's, it's a space other. saver. Yeah, definitely. It saves you money, too. Definitely. I mean, when you're talking about sub, you don't need to rock it like a concert sometimes. You see some low end. And one single sub, even a 12-inch sub like this, does provide that little bit of low end for you. 
So I'm Brian. I'm Juan. And I'm John. And there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Practice and enjoy.